Hi there, Perfecto De Castro here and welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. So, I am here with my good friend Ryan Burke of 60 Cycle Hum. We've been on this island for how long now? Uh, it feels like years now. <laughs> <laughs> Especially then, you know. Right, right. <laughs> it feels like we've always been here. Yeah. 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 I think we think we've always been here. It's been like 10 days or something. 10 days and we haven't really been playing guitar, have we? Mostly just drinking fruit juices and laying in hammocks and, and jumping in the water. Jumping in the water, splishy splashy. Yeah, going on boat rides. I def I I vaguely remember that we came here for the purpose of playing guitar. <laughs> yeah. So we have um, these Harley Bentons showed up, and suddenly we realized that we need to remember how to play guitar again. <laughs> <laughs> so in, in this video, I'm going to show you like five general uh, warm up tips to get back into playing after uh, several days off. Mm. It's nothing too strenuous, and it's not as uh, rigorous as people would think. Because if even if you don't play guitar for several days, you don't lose your skills. Right. Yeah, you still know where the uh, what the chords are. You still know where to find stuff on the neck, and you'll you'll still be able to play pretty much uh, the songs that you already know. Um, not the songs that you don't know. <laughs> Suddenly, you can play the songs you don't know. <laughs> Yeah, and, and this warm-up regimen is just to get your fingers back into, back into shape and uh, keep them from feeling stiff. Mm. Okay. So the first thing that we need to do is off the guitar. Actually, just lay it down. And we're going we're gonna to warm up the muscles on, on the forearm. And to do that, we're going to do the single hands clapping. Yeah. And then we're going to progress to uh, two hands grabbing. I've never done anything like this yeah. before. And then now we're going to gorilla grips. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. So basically we are, we are warming up the, the muscles first and then moving towards the tendons. I really feel it in, the, in my knuckles. Yeah, yeah. So those are all the, all the tendons just being uh, worked through their sheaths. And it doesn't have to be very rigorous. I mean, just go at a, a comfortable pace. Yeah. Then after a couple of bots that, yes, that, that's the next thing. That's starting to like, yeah, shake. it's more of a workout than you would expect. <laughs> <laughs> just shake, shake, shake your hands loose. And also uh, you can open your palm and just rotate your wrists a little bit just to get them ready. How do your hands feel? They feel great. Yeah. They feel like they're ready to do something really active. Yeah, exactly. You know? I feel like they might be actually too powerful for a guitar now. <laughs> too powerful for a guitar. Awesome. I'm going to rip the neck off this thing. <laughs> actually, I mean, even at home, you don't have to be an, on an island to do this, but even at, at home, it, before you sit down to do any kind of guitar work, just you know, take, yeah. take a few minutes just to do this and, and, and that way you get the blood flowing to your fingers and they're ready to do uh, more serious guitar stuff. Because this is serious island. Yeah, serious island. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next thing is to just put, put our uh, fingers to the strings and we're going to do the, the, the very first exercise that we ever played. You know, one, two, three, four, just up and down the strings. Oops. Just up and down the string. Nice relaxed pace. And I started at the fifth fret, not the first fret. Because this is where um, your fingers feel closest to, together, like uh, on a natural way. You don't, yeah. have, you don't have to stretch out. And you're not cramping. And you're not cramping, yeah. So fifth fret, just go. Pick it however you want any speed you're just getting used to the guitar again yeah. okay then you after i'm not a pinky player <laughs> okay. and then after 
couple of passes, we're gonna start choosing the fingers that we need to play. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a one, two, four first. We're gonna take one finger out and just go all the way through, three, three notes per string. Yeah, and then back. Yeah, couple passes, nice and easy. Okay, then the next one will be slightly more challenging. One, three, four. Ooh. Yeah. You gotta get the ring, ping, uh, ring finger uh, worked out. I think we're preparing to use the pinky as the thing that really... Yeah. Yeah. And if you feel like you're you're buzzing the notes too much, just yo, play it slower. Because we're not we're not it's not a speed contest yet. Yet? Yet. <laughs> okay, so now that we have we've done that, now we do finger pairs. So, so we'll start with uh, one and four. Yeah. And then one and three. Yeah. This is the most comfortable one. Yeah. And then one and two. Okay. And then two and three. This is the most difficult one. Two and four. Yeah. And finally, three and four. I think that's the most difficult one. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. So one thing you could do, Ryan, is instead of... Uh, th think of it as a, a, a finger exchange. You're, you, have, you have a ball, uh -huh. and then you pass it from finger to finger. Yeah. Oh boy, I, yeah. I've never done anything like that before. <laughs> that was so, a new feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it, well, once you get the hang of it, it's just um, basically what we're doing is we're we're starting off with something that you don't have to think about. Play all the fingers, yeah. right? And then suddenly uh, reinforcing the brain to finger connection by choosing which fingers to actually play. Yeah, that ring to pinky thing is like. I'm gonna break a sweat. <laughs> I'm like just, I feel it really strong in that ring finger tendon. You know? Right, right, right. So just, you know, uh, if, if, uh, if you're feeling it, as long as it's not sharp pain, it's, it's right. fine. I mean, you, you just have to be really, really careful. Now let's give our left hand a rest and work out on the right hand. So this will be more of uh, like rhythm, rhythm drills, right? Uh, and uh, these are called speed bursts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play eighth notes, like down up, right? And then on the last beat, on the fourth beat, we're gonna play 16th notes. So it's like a little sprint. So we're gonna go one and two and three and four, and a one and two and three and. Right, and then and then that sprint goes longer and longer. So now, this time we'll start uh, start on the third beat. One and two and three and a four and a one and two and and then start on the second beat. One and two and a three and a. until all uh, we play everything 60 notes. And, and then you can mix it up. So one and two and three and four and a one and two and three and a four and a one and two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four. You can stay on each burst for as long as you need to get them warmed up. There you go. Yeah, and 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 uh, the other the added benefit of that is 
you're also working on your internal internal clock because you're you're thinking of beats and stuff. Okay, now we're gonna put both hands together. Okay, so, and I call this uh, ratios. So basically, we're if this hand is one half of the ratio and this hand is the second half of the ratio. So I'm gonna go one is to four, and then we're gonna keep dividing this like that. And and the way to do that is. We're gonna play four notes to one note on their left hand. One, two, three, four. And then same rate, we're gonna play two each. Then one is to one. And then now, and now, and now the ratio flips. So we're gonna play two left hand notes to one pick. Ooh. So there's the hammer on. Yes. Until you get one pick and four notes. It's, it's, it's a little bit of a mind. Yeah, yeah. You're not just warming up your, your hands, you're warming up your brain. Yes, yes, exactly, exactly. And then, and then you can, um, depending on how much time you have, you can play this on different strings. Mm -hmm. um, later on, if you want, you can do the speed bursts with the left hand, uh, with a scale. You know, something like that. Like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that. Okay, so from here, the fifth step is just start jamming because basically you've you've done all the 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 calisthenics. Mm -hmm. You've done the the mind conditioning as far as rhythm and and you know connecting with the guitar goes, and then we will just we we'll just play. <laughs> That's the thing. I do feel like I'm ready to rip now. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, let's try. actually, um, tur turn up your volume. Oh, I'm not. Am I plugged in? You're plugged in. You should be plugged in. Uh, oh, I see. Hold on. This is your surf patch. This is your surf patch. Maybe on C. There it is. There it is. So let's just jam out and. Uh, yeah, if you dug this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, hit subscribe if you haven't yet, and don't forget to ring that bell. And don't forget to check out Ryan's channel, 60 Cycle Hum. It's a very fun channel, and I pretty much watch it every day or every time you go. You watch uh, it more uh, than I do. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, big thanks to Henning Polly for putting together Gastaway Island. Oh, yeah. It's been amazing. It's been amazing, definitely. And then big thanks to all the sponsors. You will see them in the intro and end cards. All the links will be in the video description. There will be landing pages on Thaman and on Sweetwater. So you can check out all the gear that are featured during our stint here in Floral Island Resort in Palawan, Philippines. <laughs> so we'll, we'll jam out and you guys uh, do the same. Go grab your guitar and play something. You all know the drill. Practice makes perfecto. <laughs> like my, brain, my brain was going, animals at the end? <laughs> you should have said it. <laughs> animals at the end. Practice makes perfecto. Let's do it. Let's jam. Your turn.
Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>